And it is National Nutrition Month, a time to learn about ways to eat better, live a healthier life. Second Harvest Bite to Go program helps over 3,000 Spokane students eat over the weekends. It fills that gap for students who would otherwise go hungry those days. Barthe Sarotsky is live at Second Harvest with what this program is and how it helps our Spokane kids. Uh, good morning, guys. We are inside the Wolf Center right now, and take a look at all these amazing volunteers behind me. They are putting together these Bite to Go kits. Right now, I'm here with Eric Williams with Second good morning, Harvest. Bronte. Good morning. Thanks for being up so early with us. Well, it's really the volunteers. We had people here at before five o'clock, and it, I mean, it just shows the dedication of the people in the region for people to volunteer to be here to build Bite to Go kits at five in the morning. I know these people are seriously awesome. Can you tell me about these Bite to Go kits and what they are? You bet. So we serve about 9,500 kids. And when I say we, that's us, Rotary 21 folks uh, at the core, a lot of other volunteers and adoptive organizations. About 9,500 kids every week get these kits. And what it is is uh, a teacher or a trusted counselor will put the kit in a, in a little kid's backpack so they have some food over the weekend. That is amazing. And can you tell me about how you guys are involved, how you get involved with the schools to make this happen? Yeah, so again, it's very collaborative. So our main job is we're, we have the warehouse, so we've got that capacity. We buy the food, procure the food with donated funds. And then an organization called At The Core does almost all the interaction with the adoptive organizations, whether it's Rotary Clubs, churches, others. They really arrange for people. Actually, volunteers come to our facility to pick up the kits and haul them to the school. Again, so it's, it's many, many organizations organizations, many hands working together. That is amazing, and it's so great to see that we have that in our community. If you would like to help out with this and get involved, that information is going to be on Second Harvest website. You can head over there. We're going to hear more from these folks here at Second Harvest in just a bit, and we're also going to be back here later this morning with a look at what actually goes into these kits. But for now, I'll throw it back to you guys in the studio.